This video is brought to you by Seaside East Mariner Consulting. The Merchant Mariner credentialing process can be downright confusing, frustrating, and difficult. Knowing the requirements and having everything completed properly is essential to obtaining your credential. Whether you're someone who's interested in entering the industry and aren't sure where to start, or you're an officer who is looking for that next upgrade, Seaside East has you covered. They take care of all of the details, make the process easy to understand, and deal with the Coast Guard for you. Personal service at a great price. Hey Jeff, do you want to hold the spring line? Negative. Take everything off and let it fall right off. Um, I talked to Dave, so Dave knows about this. I haven't talked to you. When you get back to the working stern, the bow of the barge there, um, there's a big sausage fender there, and I'm hoping you can keep the rake on that sausage fender. I'm going to try to lift the bow out, get it moving, and then walk the whole thing off. Okay, understood. Hello and welcome. I'm Tim and this is Tim B at Sea. And hey, guess what? We're down in the Caribbean. That's right, no longer in New York. Well, just a little change of contract here and a little change of scenery. So if you want to see something different, maybe a side of the Caribbean you've never seen before, come on over every Tuesday and uh, see us, see what we do down here. It's a different type of the towing industry. It's actually towing on the wire. A lot of deep water towing. Uh, crazy ports, all kinds of fun stuff. So come along and strap in and hope you enjoy the ride. Julian, when you look over the edge there, does it look like where the rake is? Should I drive ahead a little bit or come back a little bit or how are we laying on that fender? Perfect right now. All right, good deal. Take her in. Just stand over there and watch that fender to make sure I don't move ahead or back on it. And if the rake starts coming into the cement, let me know, you know before that happens. Will do.
flatter this time. I, I thought that I could get the bow out and then move the stern out, but that didn't work. Okay, stop right there. That's you got rubber right here. If you stop right here. All right, putting the brakes on. We good for you up there, uh, Dave? We are about four feet off on the bow. Plenty of rubber. We're gonna need to come ahead about a, a, another few feet. All right, you let me know when it looks good. Okay, stop right there. You can start working it. Okay. So, just yeah. swing the. Right, you're in good shape on the working start. Swing it completely out. But yeah, no problem. Yeah. And then, and then we worry about when we. Yeah. Just yep. swing yep. completely yep. out. No, no problem. Okay, so, so, uh, Julian, where you are? Can I roll the bow? Of the, the, you know, the where you are? Can I roll that in like we did the last time? Up here, in good shape. You can start right now. Okay. Okay, that's what we'll do. Okay, very good. Four feet off. Very good. creeping in your way. If that's a problem, you let me know. All right, we'll do. You can give it a, a little ahead. Yeah, did right, right, right. Yep. No problem. Beautiful. All right, 10 feet up on the stern. All right. Eight feet up on the stern. Keep in mind, we're not in a good spot if you come up against. Understood. Six feet up on the stern. Now I'm just going to try to lift off the stern a little bit because we're getting close over here. Yeah. Uh, as long as you're going ahead, off on the stern. no problem. Okay, Three feet off, but you're, up against, you're about to come up against rubber. Alright. Two feet from the bumper. The bumper. <laughs> Should be fine, right? Uh, yeah. All right. I want to come around to the right real bad. So when when it looks like I can come around real hard to the right, you let me know. Okay. Right now we it's uh, we're underneath the rake. So all right, we're coming away from the dock. Mm -hmm. So I can start turning. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Just keep keep Six going. Six feet away from the dock. Keep going ahead. Yep. We're holding 16 on the start. Very good. Maybe. Come on, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 
It sucks being made up this far. I like to be further aft. No, nah, that's fine. That, don't worry. Okay. Hey, hey now Dave. we can do it. Yeah. Dave, you see that red buoy up there? I got it. How many feet off would you say? About uh, 50. Uh, you're a uh, good 150 off of that. Probably 120, <laughs> no. 150. Yoda. Everything cool, Julian? We're looking good. We're holding 10 feet. Very good. I'm not along. I made 50 meters, but 100 feet. Yeah, right, right, yeah, exactly. No, no, I got you. Now we're we're gonna, gonna, I've got water to spin here. Yes, yes, sir. Right now, we can do whatever we want. All right. That's fine. Still over 100 feet to that red buoy. Very good. And Julian, let me know if we close down back there. We're looking good. About 12 feet. Uh, beautiful. 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 If it was easy, everyone would do it, right? Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and turn it that way, uh -huh. and then break free and then take off, you know, so that it keeps rotating right yeah. up. Yeah, okay, sounds good. All right. You want me to slow down for you, or you? Is, no, so that's fine when you, when you do your thing there, okay. then I get off. Okay, cool. I'm not trying to get rid of you. I just, no, no, I no, feel no, bad no. that we, were, we took so long getting out of there. Nah, no, that's fine. I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> other than, and actually, I just I just received a call that the dogs are not going to be available until 1300. Uh -huh. So I'm, I'm good. Good shape. Yeah, when we get to the other side, if you're running late, just call me and we'll pull them back. Okay. We'll, we'll get no problem. We'll work with you. No, actually, I would be, I would be 1300, 1400, uh, 1630, I would be in, uh, in Guayanilla. Yeah, yeah, so that you can make it up for the push here once we're getting on the once we're
Well, I certainly hope you liked that video. These kind of videos are something that you like. Maybe uh, if you haven't already, think about subscribing. Maybe give me a thumbs up. Write a comment. All those things help out the channel. We also have a uh, new merch store. Uh, merch, you should be able to see that around by the description below. And uh, in the description, there's also a link to uh, our Patreon page if you'd like to become a patron and uh, help out with the production of these videos for just a couple bucks a month. That'd be awesome. <laughs> but uh, the thing I really want to encourage you to do is if you haven't seen my other channel, SV Paquita, put a link there too. I'm doing a big uh, conversion to lithium and we're getting ready to sail out to the Bahamas. So I'd love to have you aboard. Thank you guys so much. Be safe. I'll see you on the water.